Hi everybody, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your daily vibes for Thursday, February 15th. This is for all signs. This is a day of personal freedom, okay? It's a day of freeing yourself from the, your old ways, letting go, moving on, becoming something new, becoming a new you. I mean, that's what this day is with this partial uh, eclipse that is on the horizon. It is. It's a. It's a new beginning. It's a. It's a new. Uh, you know. It's a new chapter per se. Many of you are stepping into a whole new journey. Okay. It's like one. One lesson has been learned, and it's not just a lesson. It's a. It's a. A way. Okay. One way of life that you once knew it is. It's over. Okay. It's. It's a new. It's a new day. It's a new. It's a new chapter. It is a new journey in front of you, and today does signify a, a prominent turning point, okay? And you are going to be called to, to just go with it, and, and you may have to make some compromises. You may have to uh, blend, you know, blend the, the old with the new to when you're stepping into this new journey, it may take a little bit of time. Okay. To do that. Things don't happen overnight. Today is the starting point. Okay. This is telling me that, you know, try not to overdo it. Take your time. Let this happen as it should. Don't try to rush it. Just go with it. Um, I feel as though it's it's the it's a time of renewal in regards to your spiritual journey. Okay, it's spiritual renewal. That's what I see. It's where many of you are stepping into this new um, path with faith and allowing the divine to guide your way with ease okay not trying to rush it not trying to go against it it's about cooperating and compromising and blending and allowing okay it's a time of it may be seem a little um disruptive okay these are big changes that are going on Many of you may be feeling like this is this is too much. It could be even overwhelming. As we shed our old selves, it can be a little alarming. And I I see that this could be happening is that shedding it can hurt. And I feel like for many of you it could be even a little too emotional. And that's where I feel as though you are going to need to take time to relax, take time to rest, take time to allow, again, allow this to happen, allow this, this, these emotions, these old emotions that you have clung to so tightly to pass with ease, just allow them to let go, try to release, let them release, don't hold on, when something, even if you need to cry, I feel like this could be a very emotional time, as many of us are, are releasing our old wounds, we're uh, releasing our old ways, we are um, being called to make some compromises in regards to what no longer serves us, you know, it's a time of um, doing what's right for you, but not pretending that or or faking. Okay, so uh, let me think of the words. Um, by not holding on so tightly. Okay, many of us, we want this change, we're ready for this change, but the change is scary, so we hold on to the past. So I feel like today is the start, it's the start, it's just the start, this is an ongoing process, 
It's the start of renewal. It's the start of a new spiritual journey. It's the start of an awakening where many of us are stepping into a new life, per se, a new life, a new chapter, a new, a new path, a new journey that allows us to speak up for ourselves, that allows us to be true to ourselves, allows us to use our voice, allows us to be our own advocate, okay? So this is a day of the start of a new beginning, okay? And it, it brings a lot of... Um, liberation I would say it is it's like a personal freedom you know and it, it's not going to happen overnight because during this time you may be feeling very emotional because of what you've held on to and I know that I'm repeating myself but I see this I see that this is a difficult time for many to shed the old is difficult it's not easy but it does give you a beautiful new beginning so I am here to tell you to be patient with these changes don't um, push them down. Don't let it happen. Let it happen. Okay? Let these changes happen. Many of you could be releasing some old addictions or some old obsessions. Okay? There could be, you know, in the past where you overindulged in many, many, many ways. There's, this could be so many different ways. And the, now is the time to let go of these old addictions. You know, to step into your new path with, with faith. Okay, and, and you know, that's a loss. It, it is a loss to let go of the old you. It is a loss, but in this case, it's a good loss. Okay, it is. It's a really good loss. I think that many of us have learned a lot. We've been through some serious major life challenges, and now we've learned a huge lesson, and we have this major new beginning right in front of us that brings success. Okay, this is the biggest completion. All right, there's a completion of an era per se, an era that's within you. Okay, so you know, I feel like it's a day of uh, speaking up for yourself, speaking your truth, doing what's right for you, and stepping into your new path with, with uh, confidence. Okay. What's happening is the universe is bringing balance back to your spiritual soul, okay? And to bring this balance back, it has to get rid of the stuff that doesn't serve you. And everything that was, that was hurting you emotionally, that was holding you back emotionally, that's what's being filtered out. And so you are being called to not resist this filtering out, to let this rebalance happen within yourself even though it may be a struggle, okay? It may be a struggle, but the universe, the world, because that's the world card, is saying it's time. It's time for you to start this new journey, okay? So please let me remove these old emotional feelings out of you. Strength. Let me just make sure this is zoomed in for you guys. Strength comes from many sources. Staying strong brings confidence, conviction, and a balanced body, mind, and soul. Spirit has its own unique and beautiful way of replenishing, replenishing your soul with strength on a continual basis. You're never really alone as we are always with you. And this card just reiterated everything I just said. The world, the universe, the spirits, God, angels, whoever is working on you at this point. And you are being called to just let them, trust them, have faith, Go with it. You are will be regaining confidence, convi conviction, and balance, which I've already discussed. Okay? what This is a, a spiritual renewal. This is the very beginning. You know, and you know, you have to release the emotional baggage 
So as the universe works on you, release it. Step on to your new path. Step on to your new journey. Okay? It's a time of renewal. Where the universe is working with others to speak up for themselves. To, to do what's right from them. To be their own advocate. Like I've already said, this is what's happening. You matter. You matter. Okay? And sometimes realizing that. It's hard, you know. This throat chakra is I speak. I speak. I communicate. So this is about allowing yourself, part of this day is allowing yourself to communicate your desires. Communicate your wishes. Communicate with whoever it is that you need to communicate with. Communication is needed. And maybe it's just the universe communicating with you. Okay. We're going to get one of these. We're going to go with this one. Truth. Truth. Tell the truth. Integrity is the key to living an authentic life. And this is about telling the truth. So I feel like the universe is here to bring you your truth. It's time, okay? It's a time of renewal, rebirth, where you are removing the old. It's a personal freedom. Like I started the reading yet yeah, before I even do, did any cards. It is a day of personal freedom where the universe is on your side and they are helping you to remove emotional obstacles that are holding you back so that you can speak up for what your truth is. You are being called to speak up for what it is that you desire, what it is that you want, and the universe is helping you by removing the emotional obstacles in your life so that you can move towards your divine plan. So this is a this is the very beginning of your spiritual awakening and you are being called to let the universe drive. And have faith. I have to I have to I have to show this card as well. And have faith that they know what they're doing. Have faith. Even though even though she's sad and she doesn't see. You know, even though she doesn't see that there's anything good going to come of this. Have faith. Faith grows when you act without knowing the end result. Follow your heart. Follow your truth. Communicate. Speak up for what you desire. And have faith that the universe has your back. So this is what I have for today. It's a day of personal freedom where the universe is removing the garbage that you have held on to. Talk to you later.